Welcome to Power Network Tycoon Basic Training. In this introduction, you'll learn the essentials for building and managing your city's electrical network. Let's start with navigation. Use the WSAD keys to move around the map. To rotate the view, either use the Q and E keys or press the mouse scroll button. Zoom in and out with the mouse scroll wheel. Now, let's dive into the basics of building. Your first task is to construct a generator. Be aware of the yellow ring around the generator, indicating the area where residential buildings might be negatively affected. After placing the generator, you have two options. Set up a pole or a substation, then attach your conductor. Remember, in Power Network Tycoon, your focus is on wiring up the high voltage network. There is no need to connect conductors to every building load. Once your substation is powered up, you'll notice question marks appearing above nearby loads within the substation's range. It's green ring. This indicates they are ready for connection. Click on a load to view its details and connect it to the appropriate electrical phase. Smaller loads usually require a single phase, where larger ones need all three phases. You want to ensure that you balance the load power draw between all phases. Successful connections will start generating revenue as residents pay for their power usage. However, if you fail to keep up with connection requests, you'll face penalties. You can adjust the game speed to manage this aspect more effectively. As your community grows, you'll need to expand beyond the range of your first substation. Keep in mind that different assets have varying connection point limits, and some can increase through research and upgrades. Initially, your power generator will have a single connection point, poles with two and substations with two, limiting your network's expansion to be linear. With upgrades, you can have up to four connection points on power generators and poles. Eventually, you will face network overloads. Pay attention to the condition monitoring panel for asset warnings. Overloaded assets can explode, so improving your network is crucial. This can be achieved by researching new options, upgrading assets, and re-evaluating your network topology to balance the load across different substations. That concludes your basic electrical engineering training. You are now set to create, simulate, and empower.